Hey guys, welcome back to this pay unit tutorial. This is tutorial number six. Uh, we have a 50 Hz three phase system with a 50 MVA transformer that have a 132 kV primary and 33 kV secondary. So we can see that it is a step down transformer. Now it has a reactance of 0 0.1 per unit per phase. So now this is not an impedance, it's a per unit reactance on the secondary that is equal to 0 0,1 ohm. Okay, and they're asking us to determine what is the reactance in ohm per phase, per star phase, as referred to the primary and secondary. Now remember we have the per unit reactance that is given to us. Now they are asking us to determine what is the reactance in ohm, not the per unit, but the reactance that basically the impedance ignoring the resistive component. Okay, so um, then we need to use 50 MVA as the base and then the 0 0.1 J per unit we have there, we have to use it as the per unit per phase in the secondary. Once again, if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to SimTech channel for more tutorial like this. Moving forward, the solution to our problem will be very simple. So the first order of our calculation is to calculate the reactance per star phase as referred to the primary. But what is a reactance per star phase? So what the reactance per star phase means is on a three phase transformer, you have a transformer that is connected on a star configurations that basically mean you have three branches that is wired separately as you can see on your screen. So each one of those phases will have its own reactance. So that is what we call per star phase and when we do the calculation we usually work on a single phase system and this is important on a balanced system on a balanced system you basically going to have all of the phases are exactly equal so the result that you're going to get from one of the phase is going to be the same on the other phase so the current will be exactly the same the current on i1 will be the same at I2 and I3. Now we need to now determine the reactance on each one of the single phase as now referred to the primary because we are now talking about the transformer. So when talking about the transformer, the XA, which is a reactance. Now, in case of a transformer, it's an inductive reactance. So it could be XL. So, which is an inductive reactance. If it's XC, then it's a capacitive reactance. So, XLA in this case would be the actual reactance in the primary or secondary. Not this one that is given here. This is a per unit reactance. But before we get to the per unit reactance, there was an actual reactance on the secondary. So, this is what we need to calculate both on the primary the primary and also on the secondary. But now we know there is a general formula to calculate the per unit in any system. And that formula is given as X per unit one. So one year we are donated the primary. So if you say X per unit two, then we're talking about the secondary. So the one here is for the primary. So X per unit one, will be equal to XA1 over ZB1. So XA1 here will then be the actual reactance that is supposed to be right here on the primary of the transformer. Now, we know we don't have that, but how are we going to determine the reactance per unit on the primary if we don't have the reactance, the actual reactance in the primary? So then this means we need to work the other way around. But let's first calculate ZB1. 
ZB1, we know that we can calculate ZB1 because the general formula for ZB1 is the V square over SB. Now we know the V square, that will be the V of the zone, that's 132. And the SB will be the base MVA that is given here as 50 MVA. So now let's replace the formula. So we got ZB1 then will be VB square over SP1. And that gives us the following value. 348.48 ohm but we're not gonna do anything with it why because we do not have x1 so this is not going to work as xa1 will then be equal to x per unit 1 times zb1 now we got zb1 but we don't have x per unit 1 we have x per unit 2 so this is 2 because that's a secondary but we don't have x per unit 1 so x per unit 1 is not given. So we must work from the secondary. <clears throat> so we need to work backward. That's how you determine this, this, this kind of problem. Because they have, they've given us the x per unit on the secondary. So in this way, if we can find the, if we can find the actual reactance on the secondary, we can then implement the transformer reactance ratio to determine the reactance on the primary are you with me so if you stick around you're going to see how we're going to find it so let us now find the reactance per star phase as referred to the secondary now in order to do that we also need to calculate zb2 on the secondary and that is exactly the same way we've calculated zb1 we're going to do exactly the same to calculate zb Two on the secondary so that is the base impedance in the secondary but we know the base impedance is always calculated using the base voltage and the base apparent power so in this case we have the base voltage which is 33 kilovolt and the apparent power of the base apparent power is always the same for every calculation so we have 21.78 ohm that is the base impedance now moving forward we can then use the same formula that we uh, used to try to determine the x per unit on the primary we're going to use the same formula in in this time around then we're going to denote it with two signifying that we're calculating for the secondary we can then transform this formula to find our x a on the secondary that is the actual reactance on the secondary because we now have zb2 that we just calculated down here and we have x per unit 2 which is this one that's given here 0 0.1 so then we can uh, manipulate this formula so that we can find xa2 so that will give us xa2 is x per unit 2 times zb2 and that gives us a value of 2.178 j ohm so this is the actual reactance on the secondary. Now that we have this, this gives us now a clue because from this, we can then find what will be the actual reactance on the primary using the ratios of transformer impedance. Now we can refer it back to the secondary with the ratio K. So we know that the ratio of reactance is XA1 over XA2 is equal to K squared. This formula is proven using the transformer equivalent circuit. Now, we have XA2 that we just calculated. XA2, which is this 2.178. But we don't have XA1. We also don't have K. Ah, but if we can find K, then we can find XA1. Because we can just transform the equation to calculate XA1. But what is K? Because K is the coefficient of ratios of transformers quantities that is derived using the transformer equivalent circuit. So which means K is also equal to V1 over V2. And it's also equal to the square root of ZB1 over ZB2. So that will give you exactly the same thing. So if you replace V1 over V2, the result will be 4. If you also replace the square root of ZB1 over ZB2, as you can see here, the result also is going to be equal to 4. Only B1 equal here, not 2 equals. So the result is equal to 4.
Now that we've found the value of k, we can then use it in this formula to find the value of x a1. Transforming the following formula will then yield x a1 is equal to k squared times x a2. Now we know k squared already, we've calculated k squared to be equal to 4, so we're just replacing the formula and we know what is x a2, that is the actual reactance on the secondary that is 2.178 so we find an actual reactance on the primary of 34.848 as you can see the transformer is a step down transformer so basically which mean because the voltage have been stepped down so the current must increase because the current must increase that means the impedance or the reactance on the secondary winding must be very small as you can see it's 2.1 or basically 2.2 ohm but the primary which has a higher voltage and a smaller current have a bigger reactance of 34.848 ohm so that basically what we find so xa1 as referred to the primary is equal to 34 0.8 ohm and xa2 as referred to the secondary is equal to 2.178 ohm thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you like the tutorial please uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up that will be highly appreciated and subscribe to simtech channel you are welcome to share it on your social media network thank you very much cheers